Hello, my lovely people, Crystal family. Um, my name is Priscilla from Crystal Things Heal. So I got this as a gift for my birthday. Um, it's called the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle. And the artwork is by Jennifer Hawkyard. But I think they got oh, Kyle Gray. So we're going to do an unboxing today. I also got this cloth for my birthday because my friends are amazing and they get me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, all I did was take out the plastic. I haven't seen any of the cards yet. Oh, this box is really hard to take off. Oh, it says this. As above, so below, so within, as without. Connections to heaven and earth through the stargate of your heart. That's cute. Um, so those of you who have been following the channel for a bit, they know that every time I get a new deck, I do an unboxing and I do a mini reading, um, to like, you know, get a feel for the cards. It has a guidebook. Um, I don't ever read these. <laughs> I don't. Cause I'm more of a visualizer, but it has a hefty guidebook. <laughs> definitely happy also side note because i can hear it starting already i came from work today so um my dogs have a lot of energy so there's a 99.9 percent .9 chance that you're going to hear them wrestling and playing around in the background all right so getting started oh there's another quote as i call forth from within the light there you go i told you of the source thank you for Thank you for standing at the uh, forefront of my heart and mind. Thank you for activating the ancient wisdom of my soul. I welcome in the support of heaven, earth, the stars, light beings, and beyond. And so it is. I really like that quote. Look at these. I like that a lot, actually. Ooh, they're pretty. They're a little stuck together, so give me a second. Let me... Kind of break them in a little bit. Um, I'll give you quick updates in the meantime. So, updates. March readings are going to be out. Um, kind of soonish. I have to do them. I haven't started them because I've been busy. They'll be out within, I don't know, next week, next weekend. By March. By March 1st, they'll be out. So we're going to do the general readings first and then um, the love and sexy readings. Oh, these are nice. They shuffle really nicely. Yes, they do. All right, so um, let's see what the vibes are for, I don't know, what's today, Monday? I'll tell you it's Monday. So for the week, we'll do that. See what the vibes are for the week for the collective. One more shuffle, please. Thank you. Oh, wait. I saw. I was like, oh, wait. I saw something. Look how pretty. Can we just talk about that for a second? Embracing sensitivity, uniqueness, and living with grace. Memories of Atlantis. Spiritual acceleration, progress, and technology. So, um, I actually can resonate with this because I was saying the past week or so, I have been having trouble sleeping or um, I've been waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning and you know what they say. Um, <laughs> but me, I'm kind of like, okay, like, do you have something to tell me or are we doing like a whole leveling up thing? In this case, we're doing a leveling up thing. Okay. It says supernova, recreation, renewal, rebirthed by light. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say this is definitely a level up. Can we just like look how pretty they are? These are gorgeous. What I saw here. Hold on before I go into that. Then you have the Holy Grail for this week. I'm sorry, I'll make a more focused reading, I promise. 
But anyways, what I saw here, what I thought was really cool, I did see a card about the Akashic Records, stuff like that. So I was like, that's really cool. Um, inner discovery, finding sacredness. You are what you seek. I'm going to make it more focused because I know I'm all over the place. Let's do um, starting from Tuesday. Tuesday to Friday. So, card for Tuesday, please. Ooh. I'll guess it. Card for Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Oh, okay. I'll take it. We'll clarify too. All right. So for Tuesday, we have the divine matrix happening. Interconnectedness, synchronicity, God incidences. So this is like... One, this is called sacred geometry right here, okay? So everything's falling in place exactly as it should. Even the things that are falling apart are doing it exactly as it should because it's putting the pieces together to where you're supposed to be. Also, earlier today, I also had a talk about um, doing things in different dimensions, stuff like that. So I think that's, you know, what's going on here for tomorrow. Alrighty. Um, for Wednesday... We have the Venusian Galactic Council. Uh, Council. I said console. <laughs> Star being guides, answer the call. It's time to shine. I can clarify that one. But basically, you're being called to do something. And it's time to, you know, take that step forward now. Let's clarify. Actually, let's clarify Monday. What's this Divine Matrix about, please? Uh, for I mean for Tuesday. Oh my god, I'm all over the place. I've had very little sleep. <gasps> so pretty. Higher heart activation. That's a divine matrix thing. Dropping shields, divine love, your heart is healed. Wow. Can we look, look how pretty it is? Look, look. It's gorgeous. So you know what this is? This is someone who has been through some ish, right? So whether things are closing out for them or things are starting for them, it doesn't matter. The What matters is that it's all coming together now and they're in a place of healing. It's not even they're in a place of healing. They have already healed, period. Okay? Um, they're done that healing process for that lesson does that make sense not saying that like okay you're healed you're good to go for life you know but whatever situation that was most likely of the heart right um this is something that weighed you down for a while you're not you don't have that holding you back anymore and it's almost like you're healed through all the dimensions Okay, so it's like um, a ripple effect because you did the work in this dimension. It's rippling out. All right, so going to Wednesday, we're answering a call and it's time to shine. Let's narrow that down for some people, please. Can we clarify this one? Thank you. Star gathering. This is the second card. Look. Star being guides. Answer the call. Time to shine. Okay. That was the first card that we got for Wednesday. I clarified it. Star gathering. Stars aligned. Remembering home. Soul family. If this ain't a spiritual thing, leveling up your um, spirit guides coming in. Okay, you can be a star child. 
a star seed there sorry i would say safe to say if your your star seed family is showing up you're like you're finally getting united with them that's really cool because the stars are aligned and look if you look at this card uh, that's not just regular look at the the color of them right that's not a regular spirit guide or you know this is high level that's my point the ones that come once in a lifetime type of thing you don't see these soul family guides often these are not the ones that you interact with every day this is on a higher level. The reason why they are able to show up is because you did the work and you healed. Which is really cool. You opened that, that gateway. Probably from one dimension, like that ripple effect. So let's go into Thursday. So Thursday we have Embraced by Light. Your mission is uncovered. Holy shit. Don't give up. Uh, yeah, I would say if uh, you're connecting with your star seed family, for those of you who are star seeds, uh, yeah, your mission is definitely going to be uncovered like this week. For those um, other folks, though, can we clarify that, please? Thank you. Light codes. There's an energetic shift, there's new information. It's the end of a cycle. Now, I don't know if you saw that. It landed on here. The matrix thing where I said that, you know, something ended or, you know, it could have started or, you know, whatever. Something ended. End of a cycle. The healing process began. Well, it already began and then it closed out, right? Now there's an energetic shift. Okay. You're getting new information because your soul family is coming in to tell you what your mission is. And now you're embraced by light. And you're getting the light codes, okay? That's amazing. This is really cool. Friday. Let's see what we have going on Friday. Crown chakra upgrade. <laughs> Holy shit. Divine connection. Holy experiences. Miraculous energy. Damn. Let's clarify that. That's pretty powerful. Ancestral realm. I told you. Your soul family. Karmic release. That's a something closing out. Yes. Healing the lineage. Interesting. So let's go into that a little bit. Healing the lineage. So by you doing the work to heal yourself, it's like you broke the ties and then the chains that followed your family's generations and generations. You know what I mean? It's like, for example, let's say in your family, um, relationships never last long or they never get married or whatever, right? Um, because you did the work, you didn't avoid it, you faced it head on, you healed. And because they're in your energy field, they healed. So remember in the very beginning... When I was talking about it's a ripple effect, how the light is coming out, right? So that's what happened. It's like they, they are in your circle, okay? Your family, your closest friends, whatever. Um, you are in the center. Just bear with me, okay? You are in the center. So what happened was... You did the healing work and the light, your energy field, I was going to say circle, your energy field has gotten bigger. 
So now, instead of just affecting this little thing here, now it's affecting here and here and here and here and here. And as you keep working on yourself, this has been a long journey, okay? This isn't just like one situation. It's continuous. You know, look how many things have to come together. So anyways, as you've been working on yourself, your energy field is expanding. So now it's reaching other areas in your life and other people in your life. Okay? So, um, along with that, you've also learned how to establish boundaries. Sometimes we have to learn to say no. And it's not a bad thing. It's because boundaries. <laughs> we have to protect ourselves. We have to break the bad habits, you know? All right, let's get... um. Another card, because I want to, it's for, let's do the weekend, why not? For the weekend, please. Just because I'm really into this. <laughs> Inner Earth, your base chakra, strength and security laying foundations. I know that's right. So this card's really cool because... In person, I didn't see a face, right? I saw this over here. And I, I saw this as the, the lower world. The lower world, if you know anything about shamanism, um, a lot of... How do I explain this? Pachamama and stuff like that. They're in the lower world. The middle world is the world that we live in. And that's more of like where the troubled souls are and stuff like that. And then you have the upper world. But when I look at it in the camera, which I think this is purposely done and super artistic, I see two people. I also see third eyes uniting. This is getting rooted in many dimensions. I also see a third person here. This is like spirit uniting them. I don't know why I keep doing this today. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the foundation was laid long ago. Remember I told you it was a long journey. It was laid long ago. So now you're reaching out here. I did this st stupid shit again. <laughs> There's another card that fell. Let's see. Chamber of the Violet Flame. Karmic release. How many times have we talked about that already? Radical transformation. Interesting. Radical transformation. I don't know how else to word that. It's radical. <laughs> I think this is a really cool deck. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. I know, sorry, it was all over the place in the beginning, but I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool. Alrighty, so until next time, I'll see you guys in March. Bye!